Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Waha, Raka Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well, who labored in this word, and who taught me this truth, giving all of us Akim across the four corners of the globe the proper breakdowns of these scriptures of the King James Version of the Bible, all through the Raka Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of my fellow laborers, the Akim that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. All right. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians. All right. As well as you confusion of faith, brothers whose bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, and a so-called Native American, as well as you few sisters and you few children that believe upon the name and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right? So with that, um, I'm just going to uh, do a quick lesson, all right? This is a lesson that I had uh, put together for the last uh, couple days. So, hey, why not, uh, as before... The Shabbat ends, all right? Why not put this lesson out, all right? Um, so with that, um, and also I have a, a couple of uh, scriptures already written out, all right? That's how, you know, basically I pretty much do my lessons, being a newer brother uh, in the faith, all right, in this truth. So uh, this lesson is basically going to be titled, us Israelites, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we have one power, all right? We have one God, all right? And that is Yahweh, all right? And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right? We don't deal with Allah. We don't deal with, uh, which the word Allah means just means power, all right? We don't deal with no Buddha. We don't deal with Jehovah. We don't deal with none of that. Our power is Yahweh, all right? So the first scripture that I'm going to uh, bring out, this is going to be the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 17, all right? And Lord will, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. So this is Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 17, and it reads, For the Lord, in all caps, all right, Yahweh, your power is power of powers all right it says it's god of gods all right but that word god is powers all right so we're going to start this over deuteronomy chapter 10 in verse 17 for the lord yahweh your power is power of powers and the lord yahweh of lords a great power a mighty and a terrible which regard guardeth not persons nor taketh reward. All right. So Khan, we have one power, and he's the power over all powers, all right? Over anything that you can imagine, the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashir Now Shai, he created it, he sanctioned it, and he ordained it. Okay. So um with that, I'm gonna grab another scripture, okay? And the next scripture that I have on deck still in the book of Deuteronomy, this time going back to uh, Deuteronomy, uh, we're going to go back a, a couple of scriptures. This is going to be the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 24, and it reads, For the Lord Yahweh is thy power, is a consuming fire, even a jealous power. All right. So the heavenly, that's why the heavenly father, the Yahweh by Shem Shai has turned his back onto us. All right. Because the heavenly father looks at the nation of Israel as a whole, as a calmly and delicate woman. And what did we do? We went off worshiping other gods. All right. That's why he's jealous. And that's why he put us in time out and is punishing us. So-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, even though our punishment is almost up, we don't know the day, the time. All right, we don't know the minute, the second, nor the hour. All right, but hey, yet and still, we went off. And hey, let's get that again. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 24. For the Lord Yahweh, thy power is a consuming fire, even a jealous power. So the Heavenly Father was jealous of us 
man, he chose us. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, created 18 nations. Read Genesis chapter 10, all right? He created 18 nations of people, but he chose only one out of all those nations. Think of it like this, okay? Let's say you got, and I'm just using layman, as they say, layman terms. Let's say you have an Xbox or a PS2. Let's say you got 30 games on your PS2 or your Xbox. Out of all those 30 games, no, we're going to say you got 18 games. Out of those 18 games, everybody got one favorite game to where if you couldn't play no other game on that console, you would still have one, all right? One favorite game that you could play. That's just in layman terms. That's how the Heavenly Father views the so-called, us so-called Negroes, us so-called Latinos and Native Americans, all right? He chose us. And when we went off to worship other gods, he became jealous. But yet still getting back to the point, you Israelites, us Israelites, include myself, we need to realize that we have one power, all right? And his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, okay? So with that, I'm going to uh, grab another precept. Um, bear with me. Okay, kind of next we're going to go to the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. And I always, I will always remember the scripture because a brother in my camp, we had went to visit uh, the Chicago camp. And on our way back, he brought the scripture out to me because of a, a, a certain situation that had came up. All right. So this is going to be the book of Romans chapter 13. In verse one, and it reads, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. OK. For there is no power but of the most high Yahweh. OK. The powers that be are ordained of the most high Yahweh. OK. So all the gods, all the powers. All right. OK. It's ordained of the one true power, Yahweh. OK, uh, continuing on uh, verse two, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High Yahweh, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. All right. And the reason why the brother brought this out, because at the time we were leaving Chicago and brothers were tired and I told the I came, I said, well, I'll drive back. All right. I, it was only it's only a four hour to four and a half hour drive back. I said, I'll put in like two, three hours. All right. But the Akim, they were like, we thought that even I thought that my license was suspended. Come to find out my license wasn't even suspended. But the brother brought this out. He was like, no, nah, Karataza, uh, don't drive. All right. We're going to follow the laws that are in place to have me father put these laws and uh, he allowed these devils to put laws in place. Uh, you not driving because your license is suspended. All right. So I never forget uh, uh, Romans chapter 13, verse one and two. All right. So um, closing out of this uh, video, I'm going to grab one more scripture. Uh, and this time we're going to go to the book back in Deuteronomy chapter uh, 30, Salakia chapter six. And uh, bear with me, I can slack you. Yeah, verse four. And it reads, Hear, O Israel, the Lord Yahweh, our power is one Yahweh. All right. So that's where you get the brothers, as well as myself. We say, Shemai Yasharala, Yahweh, Allah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Uh -huh. And that's actually, uh, we sing that, and that's actually this verse, Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord Yahweh, our power is one power, all right? It's one Yahweh, all right? It's our power. So remember that I can, you know, hey, hey, if the Lord put the Spirit on me, I brought this lesson out as well as I could bring out a lesson as far as we only have one book, and that's this book. Uh, this book, the, the Bible, is for us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, because those titles are bywords. We are the Israelites of the Bible, okay? 
that, hey, Israel, Yahweh's heritage, and I'm roughly paraphrasing, is like likened onto a speckled bird, all right? It's just not Negroes, all right? It includes Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? And we have one book. We don't deal with the Quran. We don't deal with none of that. Uh, no other book but this, all right? So um, with that, like I said earlier, Lord willing, um, this video was edifying. Once again, I want to say, call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Waha Rachakodash. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who grew well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. And I also, once again, want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news, in all truthfulness and sincerity. All right. So once again, I want to say a ball, 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 all right, and shalom.